Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is my interview of Miss Electra James, my auntie. My name is Kenneth Brown, and of course, I am her great nephew. Yes, mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. our first interview for her upcoming uh, podcast, and I'm so excited because, as you guys know, she's on her Facebook platform and her YouTube platform, but now she's advancing in her stages and she's taking it to a whole different platform, which is her, <laughs> her future podcast, which is in the process. Ooh, Wednesday. The Wednesday. Yes, you guys are in for a treat, and I'm just so excited. So <laughs> here we're doing our interview. I'm just going to be asking her a couple questions and just to help you guys see for what's in store to come. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so what's my first question? <laughs> hey, so with the podcast, you know, will be a little different from the Facebook, you know, because mm -hmm. it's like a live stream and everything. So for the podcast, you know, it's something that takes a lot of like, you know, about at least two people. So, what can we expect for this future podcast? And like, what's the content or? Okay. Um, the the podcast. The purpose of me wanting to do this podcast was basically to not just have a platform for myself, but a platform for others who could get their information out there hmm. um, to others out there in the world. And some people you'll never meet, but they'll get right. your information. And um, possibly at some point make contact with the individuals that I interview. Um, some people will have businesses that they want to uh, promote and they can come on this platform, Electric James Inspirational Talks, and talk about um, the products that they're selling or something that they're doing or it may even be a person had an experience in their life and they want to share um the experience that they had uh, my daughter who experienced surviving COVID, will be uh, my first interview on wednesday january the 6th at six o'clock and again i want to kind of just go back a little bit and just share that this platform is basically to give everyone who wants to have the opportunity to put their information out there and share with the rest of the world. Um, my subject title to that is communication with passion. Because when you are passionate about something, you're going to be more apt to want to share that information. Right with others because that's something that's dear to your heart mm -hmm. and so that's what this platform is aiming at oh, wow. for it's really good mm -hmm. and then i believe it's something that we need as we're transitioning to the year 2021 after you know year 2020 was an interesting year with mm -hmm. we've seen the racial injustices and mm -hmm. pandemic you said hey red is going to come on and mm -hmm. talk about surviving COVID. i think that's really amazing yes and then it's also really good because it gives everyone an input to say something about what their opinion and their stance on certain things exactly exactly and and that's the thing about communication mm -hmm. i um uh, i am a person that i really believe that communication is needed Oh, yes. It makes the world go round um, because once if, if you kill communication, the rest of the world will die oh, yes. because nobody's talking to one another and sharing. We all have something different to offer. We've all been through different experiences mm -hmm. in life. But that doesn't make me better than you because my circumstances is better than yours. It just means that you had an opportunity that I didn't receive. Right. But it's okay because we have to be comfortable with the gifts that we have. That's right. And what happens so very often, we don't get to, to know the people that we may see who is prospering. We don't know anything about how they got to that point in life. So, um, again, that's why I had two years of in-depth training in communication. And, and along with that, I, it's just been a gift of God. But yeah. it's always something that you can use to help enhance your right. gift that you already have. And so many times when we think we have it, quote, unquote, so together, you will find out that there are other people out there that can do it just as well as you can do it. 
And I believe I shared with you one time I was told, um, you know, you're the smartest person uh, at the table. And I'm like, no, that's not true. I say, this is my belief. And I shared this with that individual. Is the fact that everybody that's taking a seat at the table have something to offer. Right. So you are not the smartest person sure. at the table. You're just one of the people at the table with some information right. that everybody can put together collaboratively mm-hmm. and make it work. Oh, yes. That's good. So input. input is so very, very, very important. Mm-hmm. And you have to be receptive of it because when we're not receptive of the knowledge and wisdom that somebody else has, we will believe that we've got it all together and nobody else knows anything. Oh, yes. And that is where we lose. The ego. Because that's where we draw a line in the sand and we lose communication. We cut off communication with someone that might have had just what you needed to be a success. Mm-hmm. Messing up your own stuff, too. Exactly. The ego exactly. Comes first. Exactly. Exactly. So, I think that's the thing with. Everyone else that you know wants to start something, they are more more worried about you know the benefits and like being a big name and something like yes. that. Yes, everybody has to start somewhere, oh, yes. no matter who you are. That's true. But you have to mm-hmm. open up your mind mm-hmm. and your heart mm-hmm. that you are always going to do the right thing about what you're doing. And when I say that. Don't step on somebody else to get where you're trying to go. Oh, right. Don't knock sure. other people's projects down just because you don't understand what they are doing. Mm-hmm. Because I've shared this too with you prior, is that in life, I've always asked God to just let me be a giver. Right. He don't have to That's give right. me no titles. He don't, he, he don't have to just give me something just that you know, I can just see and, and put a title behind it. That's right. I just want to be a giver. Mm. Because once you give of yourself, you give of your time, you give of your talent, whatever it is that you're giving, you can't go wrong. Not when you have asked God to allow you to be a giver. Oh, that's really good. That's good. He's always going to give you yes. what he wants you to give to somebody else. Everything you need to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Think of the biblical reference how Jesus says that it's better to give than to receive. And when you think about it, it's, you know, when Jesus came, you know, he paid the price so that we mm-hmm. didn't have to suffer what he mm-hmm. went through. And he came freely. It was his love that he mm-hmm. came. So, you know, freely we have received. So why not freely go out and give? Mm-hmm. And it's that same mindset that I think that makes um, each, each individual different because it's true by with the fruit that they will grow whether they're actually you know passionate like you said passionate mm-hmm. communication with passion yes or more of just like ego and trying to be a big name brand right egos and um, this is something else that we talked in an interview prep um, earlier an interview that we did together on ego I believe that's something so important that we all could learn from when I was sharing with you how I um, was listening to the radio on Sirius XM and Al Sharpton was interviewing President Obama, former President Obama, and he was asking him how did he feel when, you know, all the lights were on him and and he, um, everybody, you know, was rooting and, and, and wanted to see him and right. just all this glamorous stuff mm-hmm. that was happening in his life. He was on magazines. And the answer, his response to that really stuck to me it's on the inside of me because I said, that's how I feel. And that's when God will turn around when I give you this answer, you're going to see what I'm talking about, and confirm things for you. Like, you're right. He's validating how you feel in in what you're doing. So when former President Obama said, you know, that's all fine in this place. Right. But that's that's just wasted calories. Oh. And so he said, explain that for me. And he said, whenever you go through something and and things like that happen in your life, seem like 
everybody want to have a connection with you because of what's happening in your life at the time. And his was becoming being chosen the president of the United States. And he said, but you can't stay right there because if you stay right there, you are just stroking your ego. Oh. You have to move from that point That's right. and say, no, I'm trying to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. And you'll never get to your accomplishments if you always over there trying to have your ego stroke. Somebody mm -hmm. always have to tell you you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Somebody always have to put you as the front person in the camera. Somebody always have to talk about your work and nobody else's work. Mm -hmm. I am that kind of a person. When I do something, I thank God that I did it. And, you know, promoting things, if it wasn't for you, you helped me, you know, in promoting the uh, podcast and coming over here late nights and doing the flyers and the marketing. That takes time, you know. But here's the thing. You didn't have to do that. You had a talent that I needed. Uh -huh. But you don't gloat about it. Right. And that's, that's why you are... You will forever be blessed because you are giving. Mm -hmm. You are giving and you're not stuck on this thing of I need to be stroked. Right. I need for people to always tell me that that's a, oh, I did a good mm -hmm. job on that or, or I'm the best at whatever it is. Right. None of us, we do our best, hopefully, but none of us are to that level that we're bigger than everybody and everything else. It takes, what, what we do in life, somebody has already done that. Oh. You just going and doing it now. Thank you, this accomplishment. And if that's your goal, work towards your goal, work towards your accomplishment. You'll never get there if you sit back there on those wasted calories. Oh. That's, That's all that they are. That's good. It's like um, losing someone. And I will use reference. I lost my mom. I lost my dad. I lost two of my brothers, my oldest and my youngest brother. And I lost, you know, my husband. Uh, you know, you just, in life, you lose people, right? But here's the thing is I... I realized each time as I went through the process and stages in life, when you lose someone, now is time after you've gone through your grieving process and, and, and you come to that point where they're going to always be with me. Mm -hmm. You do things that will, will honor that person. Oh, yes. Like at this point, we, there's the, um, we established me and some other uh uh, members of, you know, my former church, uh, the Michael James Scholarship Fund. So every year we give away scholarships, small amounts of scholarship. Mm -hmm. You know, this year you'll be a recipient of one. Oh. But what I'm saying is that because the people that have passed on, they want you to live on. So you have to find a way to continue to live uh, because uh, they want you to live on. That's right. And the thing about it is I said to myself, Lord, what is the mission now? What is the need now? Because I can't go back and undo what God already done. That's right. That's true. So what is my mission now what what do i need to do next Ooh. and that is god i gave you a gift mm -hmm. communication that's good you don't have to do it like nobody else that's right you do it as i got you you are a youth minister mm -hmm. your message will come across different than somebody else's right. and you can say the same thing Mm -hmm. But there is no reason to get upset with someone else because they do it a certain way and you do it a certain way and you become angry because you feel like they're still in your thunder. Oh. You will never, right. ever accomplish anything like that. Mm -hmm. My thing is I want to see everybody grow. Oh, yes. And I'll go and I say this all the time. 
just because somebody don't like you on Facebook don't mean they're not watching you. No, that's good. It's true. And that is life. Just because somebody's not liking you don't mean they are not watching you. That's good. So don't get stuck in those wasted calories because it's going to kill you Mm -hmm. because you're going to be hurt when they don't recognize you because you need your ego stroked. (laughs) So that's something that... That is really good. It's powerful too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yes. Most definitely. So as we're going on, moving forward with this, Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very excited with the things to come and you're going on in depth like the COVID talks and anyone that wants to talk, is it for a specific age group or is it anyone that just decides to? I'm reaching out to all age groups. Okay. So Um, there may be a teenager Mm -hmm. that just want to talk about, you know, something positive happening in their lives right something positive that they're doing and they're being created you know um but with something like that when i say a teenager i'm talking 18 and older because you get into liability issues Mm -hmm. if not and so uh, uh, unless a parent is there with them their parent is there with them on the video on zoom right because that's how i will be uh, reaching out to them and it will connect to my broadcasting system oh, okay. and then once it connects to my broadcasting system it sends a signal over to my YouTube channel and it brings us up and we start streaming live Uh-oh, on YouTube mm-hmm. oh, Okay. so here's the thing teenager up you know mm-hmm. everybody has something that they can that they want to share and the way that Individuals can reach out to me um, that that have an interest on again promoting promoting a book, promoting uh, music, promoting uh, just experiences in, in in life. And I'm talking about like say for instance, Moretta with her COVID. You right. know, um, I have someone coming on behind her that uh, Jack Jacqueline Sauber, which is a part of this team of helping to get this podcast um, up and running. It took a lot of work to get this done. It didn't just happen overnight. And so there was some things that we had some hiccups, but it took all of us together to pull it together. So again, it goes back to what I said. I'm not the smartest person at the table. I'm just a person with a piece of the information, but Mm -hmm. I needed other people to help make this happen. Right. So the second person interview that I want to be doing is uh, going to be Jacqueline Sarver, which is a good friend of mine. She used to be one of the lead counselors at College of the Mainland. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be talking on January 20th about mental health. Oh, wow. And so that's important. I have, you're going to be coming on and you pulling together your subject title that you want to talk about. I have someone coming in and talking about uh, food depri- depriving, which will be uh, another friend of mine, which is Janice, du- Janice Douglas Leggett. Mm-hmm. She will be coming on and speaking on that. I have Dr. Jenkins who will be coming on and she will be talking about uh, m- medication um, because she's a retired pharmacist. Um, So, and there'll be more to come and more people. And I really do want people to reach out to me um, through my email, electrajames51 at gmail.com. I'm going to get back with you. Tell me what your subject title is, what you would like to talk about. And then I'm going to reach back out to you and we'll get get a date. And as long as it's something doable, and and, and and something that's informative that is going to help to to inspire somebody else's life, whatever it is that you're doing. Nothing is so small that it can't be discussed, right. that it can't help somebody. Because everybody right now, we're living in an information age. Oh, yeah. That's why social media is so that's powerful. That's right. It's huge. Mm-hmm. They got they got more than just Twitter oh, and yes. Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn. They have tons of social media outlets. That's right. But the thing of it is, is that once 
you get connected to something, it's going to put you out there for somebody else to see you. And it's out there, too. Yes. And so I'm, I'm excited about it, not just for myself, but what it's going to help somebody else to do. All right. Communication with a passion. Mm. Yes. It's the motto. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for the podcast, is it once a week? It's um every other first and third Wednesdays. First and third. Wednesday. First and third Wednesdays okay. at six o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. Unless, like, if I was getting ready to do one and something came up with the person that I would be interviewing. Mm -hmm. Then we would res not reschedule for the same day, but maybe push the time back, oh, you know, right. because people work as well. Right. So depending on what might be going on, as long as I'm notified mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to come on at six. Can we can we push it out right. or can we bring it up? So Because I have to be able to send the notification out to mm -hmm. everybody else. That's right. Uh, That's you know, right. we're going to be coming on a little later mm -hmm. or whatever. That's right. But. To start it out, which I got to get you to help me with that, either you or Loretta on DM, and I don't know nothing about that, so I have to get you to help me on that. Gotcha. Then people can DM me, or they can just email me again at electrajames51 at gmail.com. I would love to interview you, mm -hmm. and I would love you love to have you feel comfortable about coming on to the podcast right. and sharing your information. That's good. You know, it's not just about Electra James. It's not that. It's a podcast. It's a platform for everybody that wants to get their information out there. No, that's right. I mean, that's, I'm excited as well. Just seeing how we all played our part in this and it's mm -hmm. finally coming to pass. Yes. So yes. what the viewers are going to see is the, you know, the podcast itself and mm -hmm. the finished work. Could you... Kind of go into depth of like what it was, what is stressful for you, or mm -hmm. restless nights, sleepless nights, or emotional support. The I needed the emotional and mental support, mm -hmm. and that is where I got what I got from you know Moretta course initially. Right. Initially, I had other people uh, that I got it, it got emotional and mental support right. from. Right. Um, my spiritual daughter Danielle, mm -hmm. you kept encouraging me as well. Um, Jacqueline, I mean, it was a, it was going through it was a process. Oh, yes. And then Jacqueline came in and gave me that technical support mm -hmm. along with the mental support, some technical support. And, and then when we ran into problems, you know, glitches, Hey, let's do this, let's do that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we had to get off our zoom just so that we could go on there and, and, and I could reach out to the Geek Squad, uh, which was the yes. technical people, so that they could remote in to those laptops mm -hmm. and make sure that, okay, the broadcasting system, me and her only took it so far, and then they had to come in and do something. Right. So I had to go down to the technical support at Best Buy, and then they did their part, and then I had to come home connected back up at home mm -hmm. and then call them and then they remote in. Oh. And so they take a look at what's going on. And then after they do it, they say to make sure everything is running like you want it, then we're going to make an appointment for somebody to come into your home. And then they came in, the gentleman came in wow. and did test run. So it was like, it was like months of trying to pull this together. It didn't just like, overnight and one of the things that i liked about the geek squad that came in was the fact that they never made me feel like mm, well why you don't know this oh right they so, always say oh no this is what we do mm -hmm. oh no you call us you paid for this you got five years. You got us tied in for five years. And when those five years up, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where I'll be in five years. But if I'm still doing that or more, you know, whatever. Right. But I, I'm not going to get in front of God. Oh, I'm is. doing as he has granted, right. has granted me to do. And then I cannot leave you out, you know, sure, because 
all of this stuff that you're doing, I mean, marketing, trying to make sure I get the flyer set up right, make sure I get the introduction video right, and all of that. I, you know, I don't know how to do all that. Right. So you see what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? You're not the smartest person at the table. Oh, I know that's right. And then my, my nephew from Dallas, he came in. He did all of the sound system. Mm -hmm. He made it made sure things were connected. Um, Drex, so he from Dallas, he, him and my niece came down. He hooked all of the sound up mm -hmm. so that, you know, everything was Good. doing what it was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. wow. And making sure that I could hear it through the headphones, because you got to have headphones okay. when you're talking to the people. And the, and that's one thing about when you're doing a podcast, whoever you're on that Zoom with, they need to have some type of headphone. Because okay. that's how you're communicating with each other. Or it's not going to come through and okay. connect into the YouTube like it needs to. Okay. And that's something that the technical support team right. uh, shared with me. And again... Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer. I don't need all them wasted calories. Oh. I'm trying to work towards a goal so. now. Oh, yes. <laughs> this goal is coming to pass. Yes, but yes, it was a lot of sleepless nights. I'd get up out of the bed and say like, man, I wonder why that's not working. I wonder why that Zoom not working. I'm wondering why that it's not connecting to the YouTube like it needs. Why? You know what I'm saying? I was asking myself that, and then I get up, and then I just start talking to God and saying, God, you led me in this direction. Now, now, now what? Right. And it's like he just started putting it all together, putting you guys all in order. I love it. You know, I'm going to send Kenneth and he's going to do this. I'm going to send the Geek Squad and they're going to do that. And I'm going to send Jack and they, she's going to do that. And I got Moretta and Danielle and they're going to do that. And then, you know, like Brandon would come in and say, Grandma, are you all right? And so did, you know, like, so it sent him for those moments in time. So, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it came together, but it didn't just boom overnight come together. Oh, right. Because in the process, I was working on other projects. It's really powerful. Mm -hmm. The book as well. Yes, which I'm at that point of, you know, just cleaning that up. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and whenever I get to that, it's going to be in God's time. Oh, yes. It's written. I just got to go out there and do some editing. And, you know, now again, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I do things. Not to get no no ego stroke. Right. I don't like wasted calories. Oh, you know. Excess. When we were talking before, and I mentioned, sometimes people try to give us this small glass of milk. Mm. And God is trying to give us this warm cup of tea. And we have to make the decision on which one am I, I going to go with? Because that small cup of milk is that thing that others sit there and they watch you and they figure out how they're going to try to destroy you. Oh. And they're going to try to do things. To, and that's everybody. It happens in life. They're going to try to do things that, you know, is so disagreeable and so critical against you. Right. But this is what I've come to realize with that spoiled cup of milk is that in order for a flower, a tree, or anything to grow, mm -hmm. it has to have some dirt. Oh, that's right. You can't, plant, that's you can't plant a flower and think it's going to grow. You, those seeds are never going to grow. Right. It, you got to have some dirt because mm -hmm. just the sun and the rain mm -hmm. alone won't, won't do it. That's right. It's but in that warm cup of tea, that's God giving you his mercy, his grace, his joy, his 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 his, his, his direction, his love, everything about him is in that warm cup of tea. Right. So he says, I was speaking with a friend of mine on tonight, and God just spoke to me so close, so clearly. Of two words. So what? And I needed that. So what? So what? If somebody don't agree with what you're doing. So what? So what? If your past caused you a lot of pain. So what? Look what I've already brought you. So what? I already knew they was going to do that. Oh, yes. You see that? And that's why I built you up. 
for a time like this. So what? Such as a time as this. That has to be our attitude moving forward. Mm -hmm. So what? So what? People talk about you. So what? Oh. People don't agree with you. So what? People don't like the projects. I'm not just talking about that project with the podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about anybody's project. Your ministry, you're getting through collegiate high school, you're getting to graduation, you're going off to a university. Everybody is not going to bathe in that with you and be happy for you. That's right. But God said, so what? So what? I equipped you with everything you needed. That's right. Everything you oh. needed to do that project and before that project and before that project and before that project. Whatever your projects are, always remember that you're going to have criticism. But God said, so what? So what? You can so keep moving same. because I keep blessing you. Yes. The joy of the Lord is mm -hmm. well, That's right. Yes. At least back to what you were mm -hmm. saying, how man is right in his own eyes. And it just mm -hmm. ties down to you saying how, you know, we think that we're the... I would say the smartest person in the room. And, yeah. You know, honestly, we all need each other. Exactly. Um, think about in the Bible how, because I love going back to biblical reference. And that's a good thing. Um, you you are minister. Oh, so. yes. <laughs> um, literally, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, says, Woe to him who falls alone. Mm -hmm. um, but it's better for us to be together because if one falls, the other can help him up. Yes. And I think of that because, you know, it's teamwork. You know, if, mm -hmm. for example, let's say that I, you know, I needed help in a subject in which I know I'm not strong in, you know, I'm not just going to mm -hmm. just sit there and just fill the class for no reason. Right. But, you know, if you're good at it, you know, I'm going to reach out to you and ultimately we're both going to become successful. And mm -hmm. I think that's what God is doing because. Mm -hmm. You know, God wouldn't bring you to something which he wouldn't bring you through it. That's right. Because if he brought you to it, he'll bring you through it. Oh, that's yeah, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> and that's something that we talk about in reference to building streets. Oh, yes. That's, oh, I love that. What you you about. cannot get to Beaumont just traveling on 45. You got to get on 10. Come on. You cannot get to Lake Jackson just stand on 45. You got to get on 288. Right. You got to get on 610. You got to get on some different streets. Mm -hmm. In life, we got to get some different, we got to build some streets. Oh, yes. Oh, you yes. are building streets. Young people today are building streets. If you're smart, you build streets. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that, and I tell you that, and I tell my grandson and nephews, and this most young people I talk to, you got to build streets. Right. If I build something in athletics, now I got to go build another street in academics. And then I got to build another street in my spiritual walk. And then I got to build another street in workforce. You just keep building and stacking streets because one street is not going to always take you where you need to go. Because sometimes if it look here, if football and basketball don't work out, you still can fall back. On your academics. That's right. That's a street. That's mm -hmm. You got to build streets. Yes. And sometimes, like every other street, it don't have a lot of cars on it. That's right. It don't have a lot of people on it. But who's, who's there? It's supposed to be there. That's true. That's it. In your spiritual walk, that's another street. That's so. You got to build streets because one street will not take you everywhere that you need to go. Mm. And I got sense enough to know that I can't get to Dallas on 45 alone right. and get to my destination. I got to get on 30. Mm -hmm. I might go into Fort Worth. I got to get on 20. Yeah. I got to get on a different street. And that's the Super Bowl of life. Oh, that's it. That's the that's the real Super Bowl of life. Not that stuff we see on TV. Oh no. The real Super Bowl of life, you got to have some offense and you got to have some defense. And then you got to have some linemen. Mm -hmm. And then you got to have a quarterback. You got to have that whole setup. Right. Cuz in the Super Bowl of life, you got to have somebody that's going to take care of you and do some blocking for you. Mm -hmm. When your enemies come. That's it. That's that's what I'm talking about. I know that's right. I don't just look at life from one angle. Mm -hmm. Even in this interview about this 
podcast. I don't look at it. I can't just look at it right. from one angle. I have to look at it holistically. Mm-hmm. And what I mean like that, it's some stuff going. It's some stuff going to come up in the process. That's right. And life is not going to stop just because you working on a project. You just, it's just not going to stop. That's true. Because in the Super Bowl of life, go back to biblical terms, just like yourself as a youth minister, you got to have some honor balance. Oh, yes. You got yes. to have some people that hear what you don't hear, but they make sure that they don't let that get to you. That's right. That's just like that. That's just like the is that the front lineman? Front oh make whoever sure that is, they make sure it don't get to the quarterback. Oh. Now I don't know about no sports. Mm-hmm. I leave that up to to the men <laughs> and the family. I don't know nobody no sports. But I tell you one thing, I know about.